So this might turn out really well, or this is a disaster in the making. I guess we're about to find out. It's showtime. Hi guys, so today I'm doing a matte makeup look for a vintage-esque looking photo shoot Derek wants to do. Um, we're using this really cool cape my mom gave me. But uh, anything mattifying on my skin is like nightmare fuel. <laughs> so let's see if we can accomplish this. Um, not even going to use my normal day cream. I'm going to... Oh, please focus. I'm going in with this kind of bougie... So you can see this. Uh, I guess it's called 111 Skin. Um, and I got this in a subscription. <laughs> subscription box. But uh, since we're going to be doing this look, underneath all this mattifying stuff, I have to have something super moisturizing or we're going to have big problems. So... And I'm gonna go in a little bit heavy with it because I'm going to use a mattifying primer and a matte uh, foundation. Okay, so we'll use this expensive stuff today. Just uh, A, to test it out, and B, um, I just feel like I want extra moisturizer underneath all this stuff. And you can go there. So heavier all right and the uh quick life update um my dog did pass ah uh, and it sucks and it's weird to get used to but uh he was an old man and he lived a good happy life um I'll make a video about him. <laughs> um, I found some really, you know, I've got a huge collection of videos and stuff, so I had the opportunity to look back at some of that stuff and realize that we did give this dog an amazing life, so <clears throat> yeah, we'll make a dozer video another time. St still kind of licking my wounds about that one. Um, and on that note, some people that know, um, have already put the offer out there for another dog and uh i got too much going on and i'm just not ready for that um i feel like the right dog will find me when the time comes anyway we're gonna change subjects i'm going to use this um it's fenty beauty we're gonna move the light again so this camera will focus it is um pro filter Anyway, it's a it's a nice primer. I did get it in a boxy charm. I love Fenty products for the most part, but I understand that the target market is much younger than me. On that note, the Fenty foundation is the closest like color match to my skin of anything I've ever used, but it's drying. So have faith, Riri. Come out with some moisturizing versions. And we'll be happy campers, but let's let this sit for a minute. And I'm going in with the, in just a minute, it's the uh, Juvia's Place. Well, now why do you need light to be seen, damn it? All right, for foundation, it is the Juvia's Velvet Matte Foundation in the shade Cairo. It's not a very big tube, but it's not something I use very often. I'm only going to use about yay much, and that's probably more than what I need. But we'll see how this works out. Oh, I like that this is kind of thicker. Right. And I'm going to blend this out with 
the uh, cheating version of the overpriced Tati puff. I use the Yao Twin, Yo Twin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, I get these cheap on Amazon and they work great. So far, so good. <laughs> That's where it scares me. All the dryness around here where I get mask irritation. Although, under this, uh, I'm sorry, over this moisturizer, this doesn't seem to be drying. So maybe that was a smart move. some coverage. In fact, I'm just going to use my last little bits of this. Hopefully I'm not making a big mistake putting more of this under my eye, but uh, I feel like the coverage on this is pretty good. Like I don't think I need any kind of concealer today. So yeah, this will work quite nicely, I think. Color match is fantastic on me. But maybe we'll do a, a second video later when I do my skincare and we'll see exactly how my skin fared with this because I'll be in this makeup for a while today. And just to show you kind of the idea of what we're looking at or what we're looking for. It is <laughs> something similar to, let me get her up here, something kind of in this ballpark. Um, he wants heavier blush, which is weird. Yeah, so we're doing matte makeup and heavy blush, things I never do. All right, I'm going to go in with the um, Fenty Lavender uh, Powder, if I can open it. Because what I usually use would be the Too Faced. Um, That powder is kind of moisturizing, so we'll go in with Fenty. It's Fenty Day here. And I don't know how much powder I'm going to use, although. I think my weird little idea is going to work, you guys. Um, I'm getting the matte finish I want, but this uh, moisturizer underneath, I don't feel like it's sucking all the moisture out of my skin. We'll see how this goes in a few hours. This could turn into an absolute shit show. I guess we'll find out together. But so far, so good. And, and this is not. My everyday makeup routine is nothing like this. My everyday makeup routine is usually just my skincare, and I've been kind of bad about that off and on lately. Blend it in. All right. 
Kagami? It's my big worry. My dry spots are right around my nose and right around my mouth and the corners of my eyes. So, things we don't want to uh, accentuate if I don't have to. All right. So anyway, yeah, Dozer did pass, and so did Merle the pig on the same day. But we do have new pigs at the ranch, so I'll get some video taken of them. I have some pictures and stuff. They're kind of new. I don't want to stress them out being up in their faces with cameras and such. They're still getting used to things. All right, guys, so far I like that. Let's do some brows. I'm still going to be lazy with my brows. I just do the gimme brow. I don't get carried away with the Instagram eyebrows. This one spot on my right eyebrow that never wants to take any kind of brow gel, pencil, anything. It just refuses. And it's right in the middle of my right eyebrow. my reference picture and decide if I'm going to do contouring and all that jazz. Very lightly. Very, very lightly. So. One eternity later. All right. Oh, man. All right. And Derek did say he wanted a more pronounced blush. Another thing I never really do. But I'm going to use this NARS uh, Blissful. Let me get a picture of that. That's a lot of blush. But I guess it does kind of go with the reference picture, so. Oh, I got that one still. 
Brush a little bit of that away. Make sure we got even cheeks. All right. Well, if it's not enough, he can tell me and I'll put some more on, but that's already looking crazy to me, so... And highlighter. I'm going to use this ZC uh, British Museum. In fact, I should probably do a video about this stuff. Um, it's finally being talked about on YouTube, and it's it's a great company, great product. And I'm just using. It's just a barely anything kind of a highlight, which should work for what we're going for today. All right. God, that blush just looks crazy to me. Yes, I'm anal. I put everything back in boxes. Um, makes it easy to organize, and if it's something I ever do use, like in my professional kit, I like to have the ingredients right there on hand, just in case. All right, so far so good. <sighs> Eyeshadow. She's got kind of a cool tone, naturalish. I don't know what you'd call that, but I think. I think we're going to go with Sigma and we're going to use our Robert Welsh brushes today because why not? Little things that make me happy and this particular brush set was one of them. Oh damn. I have brushes in here I need to start using a little more often. Domed Utility and Medium Sweeper. Those are the, yeah, the Sigmas I'm using. An E54 and an E34. And I think that should be enough for what we got going on today. Um, I'm not going to go dig it out, but at the same time, I um, one I paid for, one was gifted to me, but I have the Robert Welsh brushes. Um, I don't have the little um, envelope with me right now. Throw those away really quick. But I'm going to use this uh, Sigma Untamed, which was a Jen Loves collaboration. And just because I know right off the top of my head, why did I think there was a blue in here I was going to use? Why am I? What palette am I thinking of? Hang on, I might be thinking of a Scott Barnes palette, but I'm gonna leave this out because it does have the matte browns and stuff I know I want. So I'm gonna leave that palette out and possibly grab, here we go. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of, the Scott Barnes Atelier, but I know it's, I don't have a lot of these cool tone blues cause I don't wear that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the palette I was thinking of, but I'm glad we grabbed this Sigma because I am going to use some of these matte browns and such in here to start this look because I feel like they just, yeah, will work a little better. All right. So I am going to start with uh, Docile in the uh, Sigma Untamed palette. Come here. This one right here. I haven't really drug these brushes out or used them and I could kick myself. This is super nice. And these were not expensive. Very cool. Very happy cat hair. <laughs> All right. And then 
I'm gonna go in with this I mean I don't know what you'd call this this shade is loyal but it's kind of the closest thing I have to this grayish brown postcardy color we're seeing See if there's a fluffy brush in here. Oh, here we go. We're going to use this 4D HD precision brush to kind of get in here. I've got very hooded eyes, so I don't do the outer V. I do this outer seven thing. This brush is fantastic. And I like that it's got a point. I might need some backups of this brush. This is fabulous. I really like this. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this loyal brown shade. Just a tiny bit under. She doesn't really have smoky eyes. Her eyes are shut, so. Do the best we can. Oh. All right. So. I guess we use these brushes in tandem, but. It's given me what I want, and it's actually, even though it's two brushes, which sound blah, 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 even though I'm using two brushes, which I don't normally do. I do like the effect I'm getting. Picture's eyes are downturned, which mine are not, so get a little creative here. A kind of a blue and kind of a gray so I'm gonna go in with comp card comp card and maybe top a little bit with this runway and this is out of the Scott Barnes which palette are you atelier collection atelier something or other atelier collection I want this little precision. The E34 domed utility. Is that what I want? No, not really. I honestly think. I honestly think I want to use this HD brush again. This thing's really cool. All right. So let's. Perfect. Okay. Yep. That's the color scheme I was going for. So perfect. Not bad, and these are not colors I normally wear. Take this medium sweeper again and do a little bit of this runway, just a tiny bit. 
I don't think the Victorians had a lot of glittery makeup, but... I don't think this will show up on camera as glitter if I'm light-handed with it, but... It does. As good as I'm going to get from this picture, that does seem as close as I'm going to get. Wow, the blush. So much blush. <laughs> Not bad. Um, no, I want to set these right here in case I got a touch up. I've got everything I used, so put these all right here together just in case. All right. Talking to myself just in case I have to come back here and do touch ups. I have everything that I used for this sitting out. Not bad. Okay, lipstick. Uh, she's got kind of this glossy, I don't know how you'd say that, the light of her face, glossy brownish red. Okay. So I think the color we're going for, for her lips, I'm going to mix um, this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea uh, Crush, and I think I'm gonna top it with this Helena Rubinstein kind of gloss situation. I mean, it has some color, but not enough. I think this will work well together. Get me, get me close to that color, yep. I'm gonna say that's pretty close. of how I look in normal life. This is weird, but it's kind of fun. All right. Mm. Not a bad lip match. All things considered, I'm going to call that close. I think I did all right. I wasn't too sure starting out. Um, setting spray. I'm just going to use this Maracuja Miracle Mist because it doesn't add any glow or anything like that. And I definitely need this uh, on for a while. And any skin benefits I can get from this while I have all this mattifying crap on is probably a good thing. I have a fan I usually use for this. It's in the bathroom, but uh, I usually have a palette or something around here I could use, but I don't. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm throwing some mascara and uh, I think we're good to go. Um, Using this Ciate London, London Wonder Wand. I'm just going to go across like that because I... This little bit of shine might all be in my head, but just to be on the safe side. That just might be the dry sides of my nose looking funny. And it looks weird in the mirror, but it looks fine on camera, so I guess we'll work with it. I can always touch things up.
Maybe lashes? I don't know, you guys. Would lashes be too much? I'm going to go in. I am going to use lashes. I'm going to use the Inky Minky Authentic. Um, I think that might give me the what I'm looking for. Um, clear band. So... Since I just made that grand decision, I try to buy lashes back. Oh, just in case, yeah. I keep all my lashes in a uh, Ed Hardy box that uh, Kaz gave me. I just put all those palettes back. Oh, well, let's just do this. Hopefully. I think there's a black shade in both of these, so something I can cheat as a little bit of a liner, um, a guide, because these lashes have a clear band. Okay. All right, I have a little, little eyeliner brush because we're just going to do a simple, like, basically just a guideline for where I'm going to put these lashes. Six and a half hours later. Perfect. And I like this. Um, I got this on sale, um, and it is the Scott Barnes, but this is a great cool tone palette. Um, now that I'm getting back into the swing of things for school and all the photo stuff, um, I'm really liking the Scott Barnes and the Sigma palettes. I mean, that's pro level. Most of the time I like makeup that smells like cake and reminds me of 1986, but you know. All right, let's get brave and try to tack on some lashes, shall we? I let that glue dry till it's just barely tacky. It almost feel dry, but it just seems to work better for me. Something reasonable here. I like how this lash, because I didn't cut it, gives me almost that downturn look. I mean, not totally, but me a little closer to the picture anyway. I can barely tell I have these on. They're not heavy. Okay, let's see if we can get these to match. We get close. This 
somewhat. And of course, there's always that one eyelash that never wants to tack down in one corner or the other. mingled and matching and looking like they belong um, I gotta go do something with my hair and I don't know how long that's gonna take or how I'm gonna do it so I'll spare you that but uh, I'll definitely put the end results at the end of this video all right well not bad I'm gonna say at least for right now we've successfully managed A matte makeup look on dry older skin go team um, skin is still feeling good underneath I'm really gonna attribute it to this uh, 111 skin cream and yeah so far it's very comfortable um, yeah um... so I think we have a winning combination here get you in focus um, with the Fenty Primer and the Juvia's Place uh, matte foundation. Um, so far, very comfortable. Nothing looks dry. I'm not seeing where it's clinging to any dry patches. But again, I'm going to attribute that to this skin cream. Which I don't ever want to have to buy that shit for full price. But maybe uh, in the very near future, I need to be looking for some sales or Poshmark or something like that and keep some of this on hand for photo shoots where I have to be the model. All right. Happy with my lashes. Yeah. Yep. I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but so far so good. I can clean this stuff up later, but all right, I'll show you the end results when I have it. All right, so it's a little bit later. Um, the only thing I have changed or that he asked me to change is um, I've done like a little exaggerated thing with my upper lip, um, like sharper kissy lip kind of look. Um, and I put a little lighter um, gloss in the center. I'm really happy with these lashes. Um, I couldn't remember her name earlier. Uh, the YouTuber's name that makes these, her name is Sabrina. And uh, this style again is called Authentic. And uh, very happy with these. Definitely gonna have to buy more. Um, they're super light, they're super comfortable. I could wear these regularly and I probably should just plan on doing exactly that. Um, Hair I didn't get too carried away with, other than I need to fix my bangs a bit because it's going to be in a hat, but... And even though this is matte, I see why, because it looks... I look almost glowy, even though this is a totally matte finish. And it's staying completely matte. It's not. But I see in the light that it doesn't look dry or matte, so... Bonus. Alright, um... I hope you liked my little, I guess, sort of weird get ready with me. I need to fix my hair a little better for all this. And uh, yeah, I'll tack the pictures on the end of this video. Um, everyone have a great day. All right, so I'm checking in, photo shoot's over. It's about six, just, blah, 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 six hours uh, from when I first put this on. Um, I 
very happy. There's no nothing crusty, nothing got super dry. Um, everything looks good and intact. The pictures came out really nice. And uh, we're going to go wash all this off. Thank you.